day we got started on our big old siding job up in Clarence. <clears throat> so there's a, uh, a drop in back or you can see it filling up the trailer and we started tearing off. So we got two layers that's going to have to come off on this section here. Actually what we're going to end up probably doing is just leaving the bottom layer on just taking the brown off because we're going to have an issue with this wall flashing. That flat roof is slippery is not in a doorknob so uh, we got to get that cleaned off so the guys can work on it. The, uh, <clears throat> the We need to put a leveling board on here and I'm going to recommend a three quarter inch as opposed to a half inch. We need to know if this heat vent is operable and of course we'll find out about these two dryer vents or bathroom vents whatever they are uh, but we're gonna definitely need to run ourselves some leveling board here and the three-quarter is gonna probably be most suitable here okay this section here is where this heat is this pipe is operable so we're gonna end up putting ourselves a plate across the back and uh, uh, with white aluminum probably about 18 to 20 inches width from top to bottom and J channel each side. This door was actually sided over so we're going to recommend we put OSB over it, maybe more insulation in between it, give us a surface to mount to. This is like an old stucco and you can see these all these electric boxes are over top of this window so we're going to have to fur that in obviously, frame it in. We'll end up flashing this before everything gets sided. Uh, we'll, we'll end up, looks like we got enough room to get our siding in behind the, uh, what do you call it here, the, the pipe. The section here is going to be all furred 16 inches on center into the, into the stone or the concrete. It'll be glued and tap conned. So that has to be done before the siding goes on. This little apron section here, which is part of the contract, I think we're probably might be better off to plan on because now that we torn off so much, we might be better off to go ahead and, and shingle that little section too. We'll just strip it right down and ice shield it and shingle it. I think we'll get a better look and flash it. I'll talk over with the, uh, the installers from there. We've got our electrical, uh, incoming electrical, which is which is pretty tight to everything. Uh, so we got to be real careful with this. On our corners, I think what we'll do is we'll just run a two by, double two by four, or two by four and a two by six and trim that with coils so our siding will butt to it. These front windows obviously are all getting trimmed now to make them all look nice and neat. So, and then we want to box off, we're, we're planning to box off that pipe, the electric pipe, so the birds can't perch up there anymore. Say, uh, Pretty big project. We're going to take this all this brown and just cap it off with white aluminum, uh, so there's going to be a lot of a lot of piecing together, cutting and popping, pop riveting it on. If, if you see any electricians that are any good, uh, send them my way. Okay, we've got a leak up in this. Water's been coming in on this window sill, so we got to take care of that. But it's not a little ranch, that's for sure. We'll probably be here for a couple of days. <laughs> yes. You see what's involved over there? It's pretty special. We got a big hole in the chimney over here. We're gonna have to. This chimney actually isn't isn't working, but it's gonna stay up. <clears throat> Cold outside. So we're gonna come in and uh, start furring on that other side. I think it's probably gonna be the game plan, and then come up with a decision on our foam board. So I'll go over that with the customer. And here's our plug.